Okay, now Bismillah. Okay, close. Welcome back. We're going to question number 18. The internal angles of an irregular, okay, of an irregular, sorry, of irregular polygon. That's better. Now we have a five sided shape over here. If you look at the shape, which we've got here, so we've got one, then we've got one side here, and we've got second, third, fourth, and five sides. I shouldn't take the red line because that will indicate that they're all the same. So we've got five sided shape. We need to work out these angles. This is S. 3s, 2s, 125, and 145. So what we need to do first of all is to work out in this question at the first instance what is the angle sum of a five-sided shape. So we can make a statement. N is equal to five. We've got a five-sided polygon. Okay. We want to work out the internal angle sum. So what formula do we use? We use N minus two multiplied by 180, that will give us an angle sum of this five-sided shape. So that gives us angle sum, and that was the internal angle sum. Okay, so what is N? N has a value of five-sided five shape. So five minus two is three times by 180. Now if you want to do three times by 180 in your head, three times by 100 is 300 plus another 240. So that gives us a total of 540 degrees. So we know that these five angles sh should must add up to 540. So we've done the first part, now let's do the second part now. So let's form our equation. Form our angle equation. So what do we have? We have Okay, we have a hundred. Let's start off with this S here. S, let's start with all the S's. S add 2S. S add 2S. So add that one, add this one. Add how many more S? Add 3S. And then here comes the numbers 145 and 125. And that should give us an answer of what? All of them should give us an answer of 540. So whether we're trying to work out one missing angle, or in this case three missing angles. The algebra here, if you look over here, we have S at 2S at 3S. So the S is the common term here. 1S at 2S is 3S. 3S at another 3S gives us? 6s. So that gives us 6s. Okay, good. And then we're going to add, you got 145 and 125, that'll give you 260 plus another 10. 2. 260 plus 10 is 270. And we know that all of this is going to equal to 540. So if you see that you've got to work out more than one angle, you've got s and 3s and 2s, but then get worried about all we have to do is do the same thing, add everything up. Now what, what's happened here? If you look over here, I can find it in my real mind. Okay. Well there it is. <laughs> okay. If you look over here, what we've done, we have added like terms and gave us six S. Now, so now that we have six S plus two seventy is five forty, we need to solve it. How do we solve that equation? What do we do? We always start at the, maybe start at the letter they're trying to work out, which is S. What do we do next? So we have a linear equation, 6S plus 270 is 540. Nice straightforward linear equation. How, what is the technique for solving that? We start at S. And then what do we do? We identify the actions. So time by 6 is called the first action. And then the plus 270 is called the second action. So we've started at the letter that we want to work out the value of. We've identified what's being done to that letter. And now we have to solve it. What is the technique for solving? Now that we've identified first and second action, which action do I move first when solving? Do I move the first one first or the second one first? Well done. 
So we grab the second action, we, we start with the, in reverse order, we move the last action first. Opposite the add 270 is minus 270. So work that out. So we have now 6s is equal to 540 minus 270. Okay, so 540 minus 270 will give us an answer of 270. Oops, just to add that into the video. Now, what do we move next? We say the opposite time by 6 is divide by 6. So we say S is equal to 270 divided by 6. If you want to, you can do this quick uh, bus stop technique here. So 6 into is nothing, remainder 2. 6 into 24, 6 times by 4 is 24, remainder 3. 6 and 35. So S is equal to, what's S equal to? 45. Now, if you want to go back, we can now make a statement and we can say what all the other angles equal to. So S, 2S, and 3. There's three angles that we've got to work out. So S is equal to, what is it? 45. If S is 45, then the 2S angle would be worth how much? 90. And the 3S angle would be equal to 135. And you want to check them. These three added to 270 should give you back to 540. And that's the end of that question. So this question you solve by working at the angle using the angle formula for the interim angle okay, of irregular polygons. Now the angle sum, so once we work that out, we know that the number of sides is 5. That feeds into the question. That gives us the internal angle sum of a 5-sided shape. Then we form the equation. Solve the equation, write down the answer. So we've got our three answers over here. Done nicely. S, 2S, 3S, 1, 2, 3. And that's the end of that question. Thank you very much for joining us on this question.